Hi, my name is Nidhi Sharma. I'm a physical therapist here at Predicate Physical Therapy and this is Hilary Shen. She's a student in physical therapy at Tor College. Today we're going to talk about pelvic floor physical therapy too. But before we show you some exercise, I want to tell you what phys pelvic floor is, what, where it is and why it's important. So pelvic floor is a group of muscles that are actually inside the pelvis. So if this is the pelvis on one side, this is on the other side. Basically, these pelvic floor muscles form a sling inside the pelvis. In this sling, all the organs like bladder, uterus, bowel, they sit here and they are supported. So this pelvic floor is very important to support all these organs. The other thing that pelvic floor does is to give us the control for the bowel and bladder movement. So somebody with a weaker pelvic floor won't be able to control their bowel movement or their urination. So what happens in a lot of women after pregnancy or after childbirth is these muscles become very weak and when they laugh or cough or sneeze they experience incontinence which means leaking of the urine without wanting to. And the third lesser known uh, function of pelvic floor muscles is to support our core. First of all I want you to be able to find your pelvic floor. To find the pelvic floor we're going to sit in a comfortable chair. I'm going to show you here on the table but you can sit in a chair. Um, while sitting your knees should be slightly lower than your hips. Okay, so sitting here if you put your both hands under your buttocks just like that and you, and you swing side to side you should feel you're sitting on two bones. These are your sit bones. So what we want to do is keeping your lower back nice and straight, sitting on the sit bones, you're going to hinge forward, just come off those sit bones, okay? Now move your hand and relax. You should feel that you're sitting on a surface. That flat surface that you're sitting on is your pelvic floor, okay? So sitting on the pelvic floor, now you're going to activate the pelvic floor. What happens is, think about when you go to the bathroom and you have to stop in the middle. So if you were going to the bathroom and you wanted to stop urinating in the middle, that's the movement. So think about pulling. Visualize that pelvis, visualize that floor right here, and think about pulling it up and in. So it's a movement pulling up and in. It's a tightening movement. You feel it around your urinal opening, urethra, you feel it around your anal opening also. You pull it up, you hold it for one, two, three, four, five, and then relax. Okay. You should feel some tightening around that area. You also might feel some tightening in your abdominal area, which is normal. The second exercise we're going to show you once you find your pelvic floor is a pelvic tilt. So go ahead, lie down on your back. With your back straight, your knees comfortably bent. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to put your both hands on your pelvis. You will feel these bones on the side of your trunk. So put your both hands on your pelvis and think about pushing your pelvis down towards your feet. So you're pushing your pelvis down towards your feet and you're going to try to fight that movement, that pressure from your pelvis. So in response to that pressure down, your pelvis will want to come up. So the movement will be a pelvic tilt when the pelvis comes up into your hand. While you do a pelvic tilt, your lower back should come flat into the table or um, into the carpet, wherever you are. You hold it for about five seconds and then you slowly relax. And one more time, pull that pelvis up and then slowly down. One more time, pull that pelvis up and then slowly down. And the third exercise we're going to show you is a pelvic bridge. So it starts like a pelvic tilt. So you think about activating your pelvic floor muscles, pull up and in into your stomach. So you're thinking of pulling up and in, up and in into your stomach. Then you tilt that pelvis up, you bring your lower back flat, and then from here you slowly start to lift your buttock off the table just about here when the spine comes neutral. You hold it for about five seconds and then slowly lower down. In this pelvic bridge, you should feel tightening in your stomach, you should feel tightening in your pelvic floor, and you should also feel some tightening in your buttock and your lower back muscles. The whole area should feel connected and one solid piece. So thank you for watching this pelvic floor video with us. If you have any questions, give us a call at Ready Care Physical Therapy. 
um, 516-829-0030. Thank you.